What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be using today one of my favorite cooking techniques and one of my favorite go-to foods whenever I'm in a rush and I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to be making a delicious beef stir fry. This is a teriyaki stir fry with a sauce I made from scratch. I'll show you guys how to make that also. And it's going to be super simple. We're going to get this done in just a couple of minutes. Let me show you how it's done. I have some eggplant. Uh, I just happen to have some lying around. Is whatever vegetables you guys have lying around. The great thing about this recipe is that um, you could use leftovers that you have in the fridge and just cut them up and use them. I have some baby portobellas that I cut up. My homemade teriyaki sauce. If you guys want to know how to make this stuff, there'll be a link on the iCard above. Super easy to make, absolutely delicious. No chemicals, no preservatives and you guys can thank me for it later. I have some, some chili oil. Also, if you guys want the recipe for this, um, we have it on the channel. Cooking oil, some fresh chopped garlic. I have some uh, carrot matchsticks. This is about a cup and a half. Some scallions that I cut into small one and a half inch segments and then I cut them in half down the middle. I have here about a pound and a half of London broil that I cut into small pieces. It's just like small slices. And basically what I do is I'll dip the London broil about an hour ahead of time with sesame oil just to infuse the sesame oil flavor into the meat. And I have here a half of red onion also. So pretty basic, not a lot of ingredients. All you need is a, is a good hot wok and a stove and you can make yourself a delicious stir fry. So let's get to work. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our wok with some high heat. We're gonna throw in about one tablespoon of peanut oil. Get that heated up. Okay, and once we got that hot, Gonna head and drop our garlic first. And this gets hot very fast, so you wanna move with your ingredients. Go ahead and throw the beef in. Just wanna throw all the beef at once because you don't wanna lose the heat on the on the pan. Because then it would just steam. Okay, so now basically we want to get rid of some of this liquid and we're going to set our beef aside and then we're going to go ahead and saute our, our vegetables. If you have a gas stove, you're not going to have to do that step just because we're using an induction cooker here. It doesn't get enough heat to actually stir fry properly. So now we're going to go ahead and drop our onions. Carrots. Now we're gonna add, add our mushrooms and eggplant. Okay, now we're gonna add about three tablespoons of our homemade teriyaki sauce. Finish it off and then our scallions. Now we're gonna finish it off with our green scallions and we're gonna add some hot chili oil to give it a little bit more flavor. Give it a nice heat. If you guys don't like hot chili oil, you can add regular sesame seed oil. That'll also give it a nice um, flavor to it. Basically, I'm serving it over some jasmine rice here. And if you're on a keto diet, you can eat this just as is. It's got you know, plenty of vegetables. You could also use different vegetables for it. Or you can serve it with noodles. Um, it's a lot you can do with this dish. The best thing is that it's super practical and fast. And you can use just about any of the vegetables you got lying around, even bits and pieces. And a uh, good way to use them up. So 
And you're just gonna take some of that sauce, put that over the rice. So there you have it. There's our beef teriyaki in just a few minutes. The hardest part about this dish is really chopping up the vegetables and the prep work. But you can buy pre-chopped vegetables also if you like. There's so much you could do with this cooking technique. It leaves a lot of room. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you give it a try and start cooking this way. It's really healthy. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next one. It's really, really good. It's sweet but it has a lot of flavor because of that garlic and ginger. You can taste the sesame oil. It's got a little bit of heat from the hot chili oil that I put in. Perfect balance with the rice. It tastes absolutely amazing. I invite you guys to please give it a try and let me know in the comments how it turns out for you.